Reset. <laughs> Start again. There it is. Hello. <laughs> I I just set this up half an hour ago, so that I forgot to I forgot to add my microphone to the stream. Welcome to Rooksville Chronicles first period, the first uh, session in our new Monster two, Monster Hearts two. I'm I did it so well before, and now, yeah. I'm, screaming, <laughs> and now I'm messing it up. Um, our Monster Hearts two campaign. This is going to be part of a series uh, of. Uh, hopefully, we're going to do a series of small campaigns uh, that are all taking place in the same town, but are all different stories, all in the Monster Hearts two universe, which is a universe of teenage drama high school drama and of course monsters uh, i am badger i am your master of ceremonies for this uh, for this game i am joined today by paul sarah v and daisy who are my wonderful players um, <laughs> oh, <well done. laughs> oh, oh man oh. um so enthusiastic <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and uh <laughs> so yeah just checking the she said yeah can't, yeah okay technical drama yeah it's all it's all sorted we got the technical drama done um now we're going to get to the real drama yeah. uh, which is the the overblown overhyped drama of high school teenagers by jumping in straight away we will do introductions but we'll do them in character because we are going to jump straight in to Wait for the music to start. There it is. <laughs> we are going to jump straight in to Monday morning. First day back at high school after spring break. As all of our students have gone, done what they're going to do, and they are on their final semester here at high school. And we zoom in on the front of Brooksville High, a very modern high school, a very well put together high school, filled with lots of angst and ambition amongst its faculty and students. Uh, we pan over waves of students getting off of buses, getting out of cars, getting out of carpools, all making their way into the building across the front uh, and up the stairs. Into the corridor we see a number of students at their lockers, uh, and heading upstairs and to the first door on the left as you walk up the stairs from the front entrance we have the homeroom class of Ooh, why can I not zoom? There we go Let me just set that so it, it looks good. The homeroom class of Mr. Lillard. And boom. That should... There we go. I knew I set it up. Um, at the beginning of the first day of the semester, out of our four wonderful characters here, who do we think is the first person to show up in class that morning? It's not Poppy. <laughs> Definitely not Poppy. I was thinking, would, would, would we, Kitty? Mm, We'd be together. Maybe. I think I'd be bothering I mean, you to get in on time. Yeah, I feel like you'd probably <laughs> join in a group with all, you know, with, with the gang. Yeah. All right, so walking into the classroom amongst a uh, mix of other students, we have Fee, if you would like to introduce your character to us. Okay, so I'm Kitty, um, Kitty Lean, um, 17 years old. Um, as you can see, you know, clearly not in the cutesy cool crowd, <laughs> Poppy. Um, <laughs> Hey, it's um, <laughs> yeah. It's just gonna get worse from here. Um Yeah. Kitty is very athletic, she's in all the sports teams and yeah, has a gang of weird people that she's just kinda collected 
and and family because she hasn't really collected her family. Yeah. It just stuck stuck with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did I uh, want to reveal anything else? Uh, no, as much as you would like to reveal at this point in time is fine. I mean, I feel like the picture kind of gives it away a little bit. Um, yes, this... So, Kitty is a werewolf, but nobody knows. Nobody knows. And Daisy, if you would like to uh, introduce your character who is walking yeah. in alongside their cousin, yeah. Kitty. So, um, yeah, Casty. Um, Casty will, will collect um, cousins of... Uh, Kitty, um, just just moved recently because um, her home she didn't do very well at home in her hometown, so she moved in with her cousin because um, of similar experiences. Thought we'd best go there. Um, pretty angry exterior, um, and just kind of can't be bothered with a lot of people. <laughs> to put it, <laughs> um, big boxer likes boxing. Um, uh, yeah, uh, is also a werewolf, unbeknownst to Kitty <laughs> or anyone. <laughs> Wonderful. And you guys uh, enter into the room with a selection of other students, uh, including uh, Kitty's on again, off again, currently off again boyfriend, Ben, uh, who is a uh, big. Uh, big band geek energy. He's uh, he's walking around just in a uh, band t-shirt, uh, some jeans with ho- with deliberate holes in them, uh, walking in amongst you, and uh, also uh, the ever the ever swaying and ever changing Sam, who. From whose personality, gender identity, and all in all outlook on life flows to such extreme degrees throughout the day that you're never quite sure which Sam you're going to be talking to at any given point. Um, you guys come in, uh, take your seats. Uh, ben. Uh, takes his seat down in front of you, Kitty. Uh, turns around, kind of looks at you, goes, "Hey, um, how was your uh, how was your break?" I mean, as good as everybody else's. Um, obviously, you know the Casty came to stay. Um, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, Casty. Right. Um, I don't think we met yet. My, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm, Kitty and I are. Um, uh, we're friends. Nice to meet you, Ben. Just yeah. kind of not really looking. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just... She'll come out of her shell eventually. <laughs> no, it's cool. I, uh, you doing anything later on today? Um, I don't know. I've got um something on after school. I don't know. I'll need to check schedule. Um, you know what everything's like with changing cool. after breaks. Yeah, no, cool, chill. Absolutely, yeah, I get it. Um, wonderful. Um, Sam kind of leans over to you, Casty, and just like, hey, look, just like I know you're new around here and everything. Totally awesome. So glad with that. So, here's what I was thinking. I am like the best tour guide in this school. All right, you need to know where anything is. I will help you out, okay? And you know, if you are, uh, you know, you want to meet anyone, you just let me know. I will totally hit you up with the hookup, okay? And of course, babe, like, if things go well, uh, it just pulls a condom out of his pocket and places it on your desk. It just goes, be safe. All right, babe. Okay. She look, looks at the condom, grabs it. Unwraps it, throws it at Kitty. <laughs> um, fair. Kitty'll just be like, "Why? Why do I want one that's opened?" And then she'll just start making a thing out of it, and then she'll like, um, 
probably I feel like you know being good friends with Sam kind of get used to this behavior she'll probably try and make like a balloon animal out of it or something <laughs> what else are you gonna do with an open condom <laughs> as he does look back up at Sam just for like I mean yeah I guess would, would be nice I think As you guys are just way too cool and angsty uh, to um, <laughs> to deal with this situation, a um, few more students walk into the classroom, uh, amongst which we have um, uh, we have uh, Scarlet, uh, Craig, Nathan all enter along with Taya. Uh, and following behind them, uh, Paul, if you'd like to introduce your character to us. Yeah, certainly. So uh, I'm playing Nigel Barrington Smythe. He is a, a bit of a posh British boy who's moved over um, to to the States and this school. So he's not attended here before. He doesn't know anybody. Um, and again, as it's it's given away slightly, he is, uh, he is a ghost. Um, but that is not known by anybody. It is known by one person. Well, it is known by one person, yes, yes, who was there to witness his demise. Yes. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, Zeke walks into the classroom, um, looks around, sees you, <laughs> um, goes very pale for a second. Uh, but walks over to you and just goes, "Yo, uh, Nigel, you 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 good, dude? You you cool?" Oh yes, I, I'm lovely. Thank you. Great, yeah. Just like I know you got like yeah, I know you yeah. I it's cool, right? Yes, it was it was a bit unfortunate. Right, yeah. That's the word, right? Unfortunate. That's definitely the word to describe that. So, like, I'm real sorry about all that stuff that happened and went down. I just wanted you to know, like, you know, the other guys in the team, they're all, like, you know, a lot of them are dicks. And they like to, you know, get in people's way and get in people's faces, start causing trouble for people just because they think it's funny. I ain't like that, all right? I, I don't get along with that. I'm just trying to get by and, you know... I gotta work with these guys and play with these guys, so it's I gotta kind of show face, but I'm not that way, you know. Well, I, I appreciate that. Good, good chap. Um, and as uh, he's kind of like stood there chatting with you, um, a much larger uh, muscular boy, Benji, uh, walks into the class and he's just like, "Yo, Zeke, what up?" and goes up to him, slaps him, and he's like. Yo, what the fuck are you doing talking to the Brit? He's like, Benji, look, it's cool, man. We we're just chilling. We we're just making sure, you know, first day back after uh, spring break, you know, just making sure that this guy knew um, that things were cool and things were chill. And, you know, we're, we're good, man. We're good. He's like, all right, buddy, you get it. You get it. He's like, hey, uh, he kind of looks around and he's like, I thought the girls were right behind me. And then, like, a moment later, uh, walking in amongst the rest of her posse, uh, S Sarah, if you would like to describe your character for us. Okay, Poppy is the picture perfect of the popular girl in every teen movie you've seen, except more so. She's got, like, the perfect hair. She's got the perfect makeup going on. She's got the cute little outfit happening. She's got her friends on either side walking into the space it's like that slow motion moment where like regina george walks in um and she is all smiles all smiles benji walks up to you as you walk in and it's like yo babe i thought we were all walking in together or you know whatever is cool and all that but i thought you were behind me i didn't mean to walk off or anything oh it's fine cool and she'll um what's the teacher's name again uh mr lillard 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 Lillard. Of the teacher name. Yeah. Hi, the... Mr. Lillard! And she'll walk in. He looks like a... Oh, uh... Yes. Hi there, Poppy. Uh, 
Welcome back. <laughs> She'll keep walking to her, je- to her chair. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, cool. Um, and she'll zero in on Cassidy. Say, oh, you're new. Hi, my name is Poppy. What's your name? Uh, Cassidy, Cassidy will have heard all about Poppy. Yeah, yeah no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm just pretending that this conversation is not going ahead. So it's like my hat fills it up. If you can tell, just like. Yeah, yeah. Cassidy doesn't even like look up. <laughs> it's like. Uh, Hello. <laughs> I'm having a party this weekend, and everyone's going to be there. Oh, uh, so no! Still, Carrie's not looking up. Completely ignored by the writing. <laughs> Felicity and Flora just on your like, just like flanking your shoulders, uh, Poppy. Just like mm-hmm. this show of like just a wall of people uh, <laughs> approaching in. She goes, "Oh yeah, you should totally come. It's going to be awesome." She will look up at them, still ignoring Poppy, and was like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I guess. Awesome, it'd be so good to see you there. What was your yeah. name? Cass, Cassidy. Nice to meet you, Cassidy. And she'll Stop. go and sit down in her chair. <laughs> you go, she go sit she down in her chair, and it's like, the three, uh, the three girls, uh, Poppy, Flora, and Felicity, all in unison, pull their chair out, flick their hair back, and sit down just simultaneously, the three of them. Um, oh, but oh, the I roll moment, my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the moment Poppy turns her back, Kitty high fives Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> but, like, without even looking, she's just literally like, yes, <laughs> and then just back to conversation. Uh, Benji uh, gives Zeke a slap on the shoulder. Uh, walks over and sits down in his seat behind Poppy. Uh, Zeke finally finds his seat at the table and the rest of the classmates file in um, to begin the day of class. And with that, uh, Mr. Lillard uh, is a Mr. Lillard is a uh, teacher who is about a decade into his career and kind of tried to start his career as being the cool hip teacher and has desperately tried to hold on to that but has forgotten what it is to actually be cool and hip over the last (laughs) 10 years um oh so he um like as, as the last person walks in and he closes the door he walks over sits on his desk facing everyone is like okay guys so cool to have you all back after the spring break Hope everyone had a rad time. Super awesome. And, you know, let's kick off the new year with uh, this new semester with a uh, with a bang, right? Let's do that. So, quick announcements. Um, final, for, for all of you at this point, the final semester of your high school careers. So, super excited about all of that. We've obviously going to have some exams coming up. And then there's going to be uh, the prom, which I believe the prom committee are... Uh, currently doing work on uh, which is going to be an absolutely awesome party and can't wait to uh, see you all there and hit the dance floor and um, yeah I believe that is it Uh, Poppy were there any announcements from student council that should be brought up um I believe if there's any more volunteers for the prom, that would probably be very helpful. And any volunteer parents for the count for um, chaperoning, that is open as well. Heck yeah, absolutely. Because we got to have those chaperones to keep things safe, but it doesn't mean that it has to be a bummer. Um, anyone interested in uh, volunteering to help out with the prom committee? Um, he kind of looks out across the class uh, to see if anyone raises their hands. Um, from the side, uh, the uh, th- this mostly unseen but still quite outgoing uh, girl, uh, Asian girl, Scarlet, sat at the side. She kind of looks around nervously before raising her hand, and she goes, "Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of be interested in that. I think it'd be a really cool way to to help out and stuff." 
Cassidy follows Sue, but still not looking up. <laughs> like, cool. Kate is like disgusted, just like. We'll cool. talk about this so, later. Scarlet, Cassidy, <laughs> awesome. So, uh, Poppy, oh, you got a couple absolutely. of volu- Yeah. Yeah, Poppy, awesome. So, we've got a few extra members for the prom committee. This is going to be Great. a tight party. All right, guys. Um, he uh, jumps off of, off his desk. Is like, okay. So he starts going through his uh, attendance, uh, checking that everyone is in. Everyone's here. Everyone is completely zoned out for the most part but they are here and present in the classroom um after he's done his attendance he goes to the board and starts giving off some uh big spiel about uh, american history and starts going through his first class of the day uh is there anything that you guys would like to do during the class um kitty is immediately writing a note and throwing it at cassidy and asking her what the fuck she thinks she's doing <laughs> after i warned her about being anywhere near poppy and then what does she go and do <laughs> like this furious scribble from the back when she's like <laughs> then throws a huge like chunk of paper at her. <laughs> cassidy kind of um opens it up takes a sweet ass time writing back <laughs> and it and just literally just writes back like poppy doesn't scare me and just throws it back this is that angers her even more because poppy does not scare kitty either she's just like she's not as nice as everyone thinks she is but honestly it's like while she was waiting for a reply you just heard like the pen tapping on the desk just constantly just that tapping when she's like staying in it and it made like, cassidy write slower yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she literally like sees it and you just see her like crumple in her hand and she looks really, really, really angry for a second and then it's like nothing happened and she's just like whatever. Yeah, Cassie was then... just kind of watching and just kind of smirks her. <laughs> just like... <laughs> awesome. And then it's like calm. Back to zoning out the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh for uh Nigel and Poppy, is there anything that you guys are doing during the class? Poppy? Um, Poppy's going to turn and Kitty Corner look back toward Ben. Say, hey, hey, Ben. Yeah. You're like in a band, right? Yeah, like... Uh, do, do you I, have your own band? Yeah. No, I got a band. Uh, we're, uh, we're the Dynamos. Oh, cool. We, I kind of looking for like a house band to come play at my party. Would you like to do that? Oh shit! Yeah, that would be awesome. Be really cool to see you play. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so totally down for that. Oh, great. It's on Friday. Awesome. Sounds good. Like most of the gigs we've been done is like in like open mic bars and things like that. So this is gonna be really cool. Yeah. Kind Chill. of a big deal, right? Yeah, that's really cool. Chill. Awesome. Um. Wonderful. Uh, the rest of the class, uh, unless Nigel has anything that he wants to do in the class. Um, no, I, I think he's probably just trying to be studious on his first day, but at the same time shocked by how all these American kids are just talking throughout the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a common theme of students not listening to the teachers during the class. Um, the end of the class comes by, the bell rings. Everyone gets dismissed and heads out into uh, the hallway. Um, Felicity and uh, Poppy, uh, being on the student council, also involved with the prom committee, um, you guys immediately clock uh, Scarlet, who's at her locker, changing out her books for her next class. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you leave the cl- uh, as you leave the classroom. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll come up and talk talk to Scarlet. Uh, she. Uh, yeah, she kind of like takes her own book out and turns around and goes, "Oh, um, hi, Poppy. Uh, yeah, so prom committee. That's going to be like really fun. Yeah. I d- think this is going to be like a really cool thing. So, like." What, um, I never really did anything like this before. Like, where, what, what do we 
kind of have to like plan and decide. But we need to figure out the theme and we'll need to figure out the colors and decorations and um, refreshments and things. And we have, you know, we'll need adults to come and help with like, you know, buying the, the stuff. We we'll, should have a little bit of money given by this, uh, the student council to be able to buy some really cool things. Awesome. We need to come up with all of that stuff and it's going to be perfect. Yeah, I I think so too. It's going to be a really, really great party. Um, Felicity's just at your side, just going, he's like, oh my god, it's going to be the best, okay? It's just, prom is like, it's the last dance of our school year, of, you know, of our school lives, so we got to really, like, milk every single moment of it, okay? So, you know, we're going to have a meeting, uh, probably, like, after school, so that we can get down some preliminary ideas, and then once we yeah. got those down, it's all about work, 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 getting them, you know, getting the money from the student council, going out, making deals with local businesses, getting all this stuff together, and picking our venue, all that stuff. If we're going to get it all sorted, we're going to get it done, because it's going to be great. Yeah. Great. Uh, that sounds really good. So, yeah, after school today, uh, I can I can definitely make that, so that would be great. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys then. Sure, yeah. Could you um, bring Cassidy along, too? Because I think she raised her hand to help. Right, yeah. I'll um I'll That'd be go, great. I'll go Thanks. I'll go find her and let her know. Alright, bye. Um <laughs> she can <laughs> just kinda of awkwardly watch us as you guys walk away. Um uh Cassidy and Kitty, uh as you guys leave the classroom, um what are you guys doing? I am half ignoring Cassidy for her smart arse comment about how she's not afraid of Poppy because that that really bugged her <laughs> but she's trying to be all so why did you try it why why the prom committee but also doesn't really want to know but really does that kind of I'm interested but I don't actually want to listen to you kind of way it's just kind of it's like I don't know felt like it I guess <laughs> no kind of looks looks at looks at kitchen's like i know you got this like, like i look but yeah we know poppy poppy I, I, something's not right about poppy. i can i can feel it too i get it and i know you're worried but i'm fine why would i be worried i just just anyway <laughs> <laughs> that's fine you know you go do you i suppose it'll keep you busy because i've got all everything on so oh yeah too busy for your cousin i see well you know you're pissing me off so <laughs> either I that or I, I i'll abandon you somewhere so scarlet I... uh scarlet kind of approaches very slowly um from the side and stands there for a while a little quietly as you guys are having this uh this heated argument um i kind of watches kind of waiting for her moment to be able to actually cut in and say something I think this kitty will be like, hi, how can I help? You all right? Hey, yeah, um, sorry, so, uh, Poppy said I should speak to Cassidy just to let her I'm know, out. uh, <laughs> we, we, we got a meeting, <laughs> the prom committee's gonna have their first meeting after school today. Yeah, the moment she mentions Poppy, Kitty's like, I'm out, catch you later, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just walks off. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, yeah, Cassidy, so... Um, we got our we got a meeting after school today for prom committee. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, sound, sound, sounds good. Awesome, great. Um, I <clears throat> I'll, I'll 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 see you there. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're both going. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, let's yeah see 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 that. Just goes. <laughs> <laughs> I think follows Kitty. <laughs> I feel like uh... escape. <laughs> a smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Very smooth escape as you just run away from this. Uh, just run away like, from this just kind of shouting to Kitty. It's like Kitty, no, <laughs> what, what, stay. <laughs> um, she goes uh, and heads off to her next class. Uh, Nigel, uh, you've 
you leave the home room, uh, people are going out, going to their lockers, grabbing stuff. Uh, what are you? What are you doing? What are you looking for as you head out of the home room for the more first egg class of the day? Um, I think Nigel is just just really trying to get his bearings on his his first day in this school. Um, it's probably taking him inordinately amount long amounts of time to even find his locker, um, work out where he's supposed to be next. Um, I think just soaking in the atmosphere. To be fair. Is, is this Nigel's, has Nigel never been to the school before? No, I think Nigel moved in between terms, so this is his sort of oh. inaugural. Well, oh, I feel like, welcome him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the, the somebody would probably mention it to Sam as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sam. <laughs> um, I think, uh, <laughs> so the first thing that happens is, as you kind of like walk out and you're getting your bearings and you kind of go and try and retrace your steps to which locker is yours, um, you uh, get to your locker and as you kind of open it and turn, uh, just literally stood next to you is Poppy surrounded by Flora Felicity <laughs> with Benji um, uh, behind her. Um, kind of him kind of towering over the three of them. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh! Uh, hello, hello. Hi, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you. I, I, I don't recognize you. My name is Poppy. You must be new. Uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm Nigel. Nice to meet you. Hi. Can I show you around? Oh, that's, uh, uh, yes, that that would be lovely. Thank you. You have a very exotic accent. Well, well, so so do you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, and she'll hook her arm <laughs> through yours and just start walking. Yeah. Nigel will be very discomforted by that and just like, <laughs> oh, what on earth is going on? The uh, the three behind just follow uh, you guys as you walk down the <laughs> corridor. Um, so, uh, yeah. so is is Poppy trying to do anything particular to Nigel? Like trying to like? Uh, I think she's trying to suss out who like who he is and what he's about cool um no that's yeah cool. that's yeah probably she'd actually she'd probably um start introducing her to um introducing him to felicity like trying to get them to talk a little bit too cool um there's like nigel this is my this is one of my best friends felicity and then um, I was in Flora and Benji. Um, ple pleasure. Um, Benji, Benji, who you've met, um, <laughs> who's uh, the big hulking dumb guy uh, from the football team, he just looks at it and goes, sup. Um, <laughs> Felicity kind of uh, is at Poppy's shoulder and as Poppy kind of gives her the hint that she's trying to introduce him to her specifically... Uh, she kind of steps round and takes full focus uh, and just goes, oh my god, so like what part of the world are you from? Because it's like a really hot accent that you have. Oh, I, I, I'm from Britain. Is it Britain? Oh, wow. So that's like over in Europe, right? Y yes, yes. Awesome. That's like super far away. It really is. Like there must have been like a super long flight to get over here. It, it was, yes. <laughs> cool. no, Nigel just don't know what's going on here at this point. He is just like <laughs> rabbit in the headlights. She uh, she kind of just like touches your arm. It's like yeah, that's really cool. So, oh, like <laughs> this weekend, all right. So Poppy's having this party at her place. Everyone in the school's invited. It's gonna be a really cool time. You want to you know come along, hang out? That would be lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, like real happy to kind of have you there it'd be really sweet really cool yeah you tell me yes. like we'll hang out you can like tell me all about britain and uh and stuff from there because i like i've never been outside of the states so oh well, that, that's so kind I, I would look forward to it great all right well, i'll see you there um she uh kind of turns back towards poppy and the others uh, and just kind of like retransfers the power back over to Poppy <laughs> <laughs> as she steps away. 
Yeah. And so as we're walking, she's probably just like, and down there's the gym, and you'll be able to know that's where you're going to have like PE and stuff. And that's where the, the prom is going to be down in the big hall. And down that way, there's the quad where, it's, you know, where we eat our lunch. So, you know, if you wanted to come and hang out with us during lunch, that'd be super cool too. Oh, oh, thank you. About the prom, is, is that like a school disco? <laughs> <laughs> They'll kind of giggle a little bit, like, um... We, we didn't have like, proms. They, like, like a, the three exam. girls giggle, and then like a second later, Benji goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> disco, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big dance. You get dressed really nice. You're already halfway there. <laughs> thank, thank you. Yeah, your, your tie is like super, super cool. <laughs> I, th I think even Nigel is slightly suspicious at this point that <laughs> how nice you're being, but he, he's going to take it because he's got nobody yeah. else. Okay. Aww. <laughs> yeah, so Poppy will continue pointing out different things until they have to go to the next class. Cool. Anyone else see this? Because I kind of feel like I want to As, save um... Nigel. <laughs> Poppy is not subtle about anything. Can I say it? Can I save <laughs> Nigel from this conversation? <laughs> oh, no, like Kitty, if she'd seen it, she would have sent Sam over because Sam just stops like every conversation. Yeah. <laughs> they're, prob Sam... probably, they're probably about as. How obvious is he uncomfortable? <laughs> no, no, it's, I feel like Sam's the type of person where even if Poppy's in the room, he could probably still pull the attention away from yes Poppy. so sam Poppy is sam. just just by being yeah that's what i mean is everybody loves sam yeah but they've just got that power to just draw all the attention to them mm -hmm. regardless 100 percent. so <laughs> sam um as they like as this conversation is going on and Poppy is just kind of leading nigel around um sam uh walks over sam today has shown up in like a um in skin tight jeans uh, a pair of uh, uh, a pair of like combat boots uh, with a woman's blouse and a flannel over the top uh, their hair is uh, I'm getting like blossom vibes very blossom <laughs> vibes yeah, yeah I'm loving it yeah no, absolutely <laughs> their hair has been curled and uh they walk over um and you see like they walk over uh kind of intercept a little bit and just go hey so you're new here as well right uh nigel right yes yes nigel that's right nigel sam yeah. you look great today oh my god girl you look fantastic too i mean bitch please that dress you could be not pulling it off more are you kidding me? That shirt, it is priceless. Oh, it is like you please, should be girl, on the cover of like of like People or something. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but yeah, this is this is my new friend Nigel. Yeah, so he's from Britain. <laughs> Britain? Oh my God! Okay, so Nigel, Britain, like that's so cool. Like, like all the way across, like the across, like the ocean. That's that's wild, man. Yeah, that's so wild. Look, I know everything about this school. I know everyone. Oh, you can ask Poppy. She knows, right? You need anything? You want to meet anyone? You want to know anyone? You let me know, okay? I'm I'm there. I will introduce you. I will show you around. I know all the hot places, all right? It's great. I think Nigel's so stunned from that kind of interaction <laughs> of just staring backwards and forwards between them. He'd just be like, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hi yeah so hit me up he uh they uh pull out a uh page from their uh notebook write down a phone number hand it to you. he's like hit me up anytime you need anything anytime you want to you know you, you need anyone you want to meet anyone anything at all you just feel free you can text me you can uh, text me this is the 90s <laughs> You can call me. That's my yeah. You can page me. All right, I'm, uh, I'm there in a heartbeat. Okay, I'm. You know, I like to think of myself as the welcome wagon for the school at least, and if not, the whole town. So, I, I will do. Thank you. No problem. All right. And you're coming to my party, right? 
Oh, bitch, you know I wouldn't miss a poppy party. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you're the best. Yeah, you're the best, babe. You are the best. Does, uh, they do air kisses on you. He just goes, oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> poppy, Flora, Felicity, girls, so good. Benji! All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> he just immediately walks off. <laughs> Uh, walks over back over to you, Kitty, and just like, yeah. I mean, he seems to be good. he seems to be doing all right. I think he's fine. Cool. Just I'll, I'll keep an eye sure. out on him. You know, I'll keep an eye out. You know me. I like to, yeah. You know, I like to make sure that everyone's in a good place and doing all right. You know. I would never have known this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Um, much I, appreciated. I know. I'm like a, such a closed book. No one can read me, right? <laughs> oh, no, I, I know, yeah, right? Absolutely. And I do want my flannel shirt back. Just I know, but I mean, come on. Like, I mean, you're working it. Just, like, it's, just, it just works so well with this look. It right? does, but I will want it back one day. You know, you know what? At the party. I'll bring it to the party. I gotta get some okay. good usage out of this because, man, this thing just makes me look so sexy right now. I mean, it does, obviously. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, girl. Catch you later. I gotta get to class. Bye. Bye. Uh, he <laughs> they walk <laughs> off again. Um, cool. Is there anything that people want to do throughout the remainder of the school day uh, as the academic day goes on? Probably just yeah, trying to. I would probably find try and find an opportunity to talk to Peyton without Flora seeing. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I think as um, as the school day goes on, round about uh, round about lunchtime, Flora is out with uh, out on the quad with uh, Poppy, Felicity, Benji, and probably Nigel as well at this point. Um, having uh, the, the they're all having their lunch. Um, Peyton uh, had you know that during the breaks, Peyton does like to uh, head over to the gym just get a bit of a workout going. Um, and they, you know, like spring break has happened, and they did some training, but it's spring break, and you know things get lazy over the uh, over the holidays, so uh, over the vacation. So uh, you probably run into Peyton just as she is heading out of the uh, heading out of the gymnasium, um, and she uh, she kind of looks at you, and goes. Hey, uh, hey, Kitty, what's up? Hey, Peyton, just wanted to check in. Obviously, haven't really seen you during the holidays. It was a whole thing. I know I called you and said that my cousin Cassidy is coming to stay for the rest of the year. And yeah, no, that's that's cool though, right? Like, is that, yeah, is it, it cool. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was a bit awkward at first. We haven't really talked in a while. Um, we're getting better. There's still a little bit of awkwardness, but we're we're working through it. We're working through it. Oh, I'm, I, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are sorting that out. Yeah, I just wanted to find out how things were going with you. Pretty great. Um, so coach just bu bumped me up to first string. So, like starting this uh, starting this semester, I'm actually like on the main team now, not just on the bench for most of the game. Um, Excellent. So you know, like doubling up on my training trying to get some uh you know i don't want to let them down or anything oh you could never let anyone down um but obviously Cheers. if you ever want to work out or just run through some moves or anything like that just let me know <laughs> always happy to help yeah no I'll, I'll i'll hold you to it that sounds cool um yeah is there a, <laughs> you know any, anything else um just if you're around there's there's this new guy nigel yeah he was in they, class. they they sort of um caught him earlier on 
and he looked a little <laughs> bit like a deer in the headlights. Um, the poor wee little bam, poor wee thing, honestly. Like oh, new, you know, new people, new school, and you know, Poppy mm. and Poppy and her crew are, it can be a bit much sometimes. Sometimes, um, yeah. So if you could just keep a little eye out for him, you know. Yeah, just sure. I feel bad for the guy. You know, she was complimenting his tie. Who wears a tie in high school? I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a bit desperate even for her. But anyway. <laughs> um yeah. yeah. Um Yeah, absolutely. So um great. I'm uh I I I just finished like running a bunch of laps so <laughs> A bunch of laps, so I'm gonna uh, quick go hit the yeah. shower. Um, but uh, yeah, hit me up later. Uh, are you going to uh, the party on the party this weekend? Obviously, I'm. I'm gonna crash. I mean, obviously, everyone's invited, so I, you wouldn't really be crashing. But well, it's, I mean, yeah, no, I get what you're, I get what you're saying. I know it's you. It's <laughs> you're gonna make a scene, aren't you? Possibly, yes. But in the best possible way. I bet. Yeah, absolutely. The best possible. You know, I mean, I, I know Poppy's a bit of a, you know... Diva, driver queen, know it all. I was probably going to say... Any of the above. I was going to say a much harsher word than that, but sure. Um, bitch! I'll take bitch! <laughs> bitch is what I was going with. Excellent. Like, I know she can be a bit of a bitch, but, you know, she's... She, most of the time, I think she's just being friendly, right? Like, yeah, um, yeah. Her, it's I, okay. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not going to convince <laughs> you on that. So whatever. No. Look, if you know, hit me up if you want to hang out. If there's anything, uh, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you later. Okay. Good luck. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, she wanders off, heads to the locker room. Uh, is there anything else that people wanted to do before the end of the school day? Um. No. <laughs> I can think of. No, I was thinking, oh, it was like, would I do anything? Probably not. <laughs> cool. So. Other than like, get to prom committee early, probably. Sounds good. Yeah. So, the school day ends, final bell goes, everyone starts making their way out, uh, out of the school, except for uh, Poppy, Felicity, uh, Scarlet, Casty, and a few other students from within the school in your year, but not your class, uh, who head on over uh, to the... Uh, cafeteria area where everyone's agreed to meet and discuss preparations for the high school prom um you guys all kind of congregate together around a table um scarlet uh, kind of like eagerly sits down at the table with a notepad and pen um ready to kind of just start writing down all the ideas that get thrown out um, Felicity has come in with, uh, she's gotten like one of those big flip charts that you can get for, um, uh, just like the big A2 <laughs> flip, ch A1 flip charts yes. and, uh, and marker well done, pens. Felicity. Um, <laughs> and stand, marker pens. Yeah, marker pens and all that. And, uh, she's like set that up as a big display so that, uh, you can have stuff all set up. Um, everyone takes their seat around the table. Um, and then sort of looks towards uh, Poppy and Felicity as just the most recognisable faces in the room as a sort of looking to them for a guide on how to start. Um, so Poppy, I hand it over to you. Thanks everyone for coming to plan this. This is going to be so cool. Um, first, we need to figure out a good theme and it'd be good to know 
Does everybody know everyone in here? Because it'd be good if we all knew each other. So then we, you know, you know. <clears throat> like, yeah. So, uh, so Felicity's uh, is like, yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, we're going to be working together, like, really closely. So it's really important that we all know who each other are. And we're all cool with each other. We're all comfortable with each other. Uh, so, you know, like, I'll go first. <coughs> I'm Felicity, okay, I'm here, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I'm Felicity, I am on the, uh, I am on the, uh, student council, I am on the debate team, and I am, uh, you know, my best, here with my best friend, BFF, absolutely babe, and, <laughs> You know, just, we've organized so many dances for this school before, so, you know, it, we do, if you have any questions, or if you have, like, any things that you're not sure about, you know, you can always speak to me and Poppy, because, you know, we're here to help. We're here to support you as we plan this awesome event together. So, awesome. Um, That's the kind of yeah. husband, though. New girl, uh, Cassidy, right? Uh, yeah, so like, who put you two in charge? Is it like, so I don't know how. Oh, going. no, like, we're not in charge. Oh my god, sorry. Like, I, <laughs> no. I didn't want anyone to feel like we're taking charge, you know? I mean, you came in with like a flip chart. Well, I was just to be <laughs> useful, right? We're just trying to help out and, you know. Do I mean, really, part. we do have, like, the most experience here in the room. Absolutely, which is, you know... And so, we're just going to, you know, help guide it. But we're not in charge. No, God, like, what did you do that? Oh, my God. Maybe because you're <laughs> the two standing up at the front telling us what to do. No, we're just saying, like, like I said, we've planned a bunch of these dances before, okay? We, you know, we know what we're doing, so we just wanted to, like give you guys a good starting point because some people have not been on these committees before and we just wanted you know to make sure everyone had a good idea of what you know the best way to start is and all that stuff like we're doing this together yeah this is a team all right there are no leaders here okay we are all equal parts in a cohesive team so like your like, Cassidy and then yeah. we've got in the show <clears throat> I don't know who's in the room. Besides, yeah, just like Scarlet. listing off a few students <laughs> that aren't in your homeroom. Uh, and then it's like, it's just, uh, Scarlet goes, um, so I'm Scarlet. Uh, I, I joined the school at the beginning of the year. Um, and so I'm still pretty new, I guess. Um, not quite as new as, uh, as Cassidy is. Um, but you know, I'm here because... I want to help out. I want to, you know, help make this like a really cool night for everyone. Uh, and also just wanted to meet some people because I'm, you know, it's a big school. It's hard to meet people sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I think this is really cool. And I really appreciate, um, like Poppy and Felicity kind of helping to guide us through the first part of this because you know i i wouldn't know what to do to start off with at least uh you're so that. sweet thank you um no it's, it's 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 you know it's nothing it's great um <coughs> do so like should, we should brainstorm some stuff um you say we need to come up with a theme um you know like i <clears throat> like I, I looked up some kind of typical prom themes that you might see um, I don't know if we want to go classic or if we want to do something that's a bit like new um, but there's some cool different things like I've seen people did like fairy tale themed things I saw people did like under the sea uh, up in the clouds a lot of le like geographical stuff fairy um, tale sounds cool <laughs> Fairytale looked really cool. They had like, uh, they had like uh, a big paper mache uh, uh, dragon like in the middle of like hanging from the ceiling. It looked really cool. Yep, sounds cool. That sounds cool. But I think like we did a fairy tale theme like a few years ago. 
Oh, cool. Yeah. No, we don't want to like repeat anything that's been done already here. So, like, I mean, like, we could zhuzh it up a bit. Like, instead of it just being fairy tale, it could be like just I don't know, add something to it. it. Doesn't have to just be fairy tale. Well, what do you think? What do you, what's, your, what's your idea, Cassie? I like. I don't know. It's so like still kind of like on the fairy tale vibe, but more like like i don't know fairies and shit <laughs> like like fairy world shit so it's fairies and, i don't know <laughs> yeah that's Some, just, just 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 like similar to fairy tale but there's like the whole kind of not. like idea of like the fair, fairy realm then so like yeah yeah that's oh, what, like that's the fae like like because there's like this like they can get really weird and dark like you know like that that one yeah Shoot, I'm starting to think of movies that haven't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> labyrinth. Think of labyrinth. La like labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be labyrinth. David Bowie. Or he's, like he's huge. There's yeah. that weird movie with like all those puppets. Not labyrinth. The other one. Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Got crystal. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> like Dark crystal. I know. I know it, but I don't think Poppy would know it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Dark Crystal. That was the one that had all the puppets, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but we could have that. That could be interesting. Like we could have like, like maybe Thanks. make up some like big, like big colorful mushrooms and things like that, so it looks like everyone's yeah. really tiny. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Then we can also try to make it like kind of an edgy. Exactly, and it's, edgy it's not your thing. stereotypical prom, but it's still pretty, pretty. That's yeah. And like a bit idea, of a kind Cassie. of. Oh, yeah, no, that, that was... Cassidy takes note that, that sounded very patronizing. <laughs> uh, and Scarlet kind of looks like, goes, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that really was a cool idea. Like... Sarah didn't mean to make it sound patronizing. Oh, I was like, oh, my days, Poppy's showing her colors right now. No, that now. was like, that was like, genuinely like, hmm. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No, so, yeah, that was a really cool idea. Um, yeah, thanks. Just kind of looking at Scarlet again, not really looking at Poppy directly. <laughs> this whole time, I'm still not really looking at Poppy directly, not giving her the attention she probably wants. Scarlet, um, uh, yeah, you like look over at Scarlet. She kind of looks at you. It does like a, she kind of smiles and then quickly averts her eyes. It's just yeah. So um, and she starts just writing stuff down in her notebook. Um, Matthew, could you um, remind us what some of the moves are? Or monster hearts. Yeah. So the uh, I don't have them up right now. <laughs> that's yeah, I can't. So uh, the different moves um, are listed. There is uh, the move to turn someone on, uh, to shut someone down, to keep your cool, to lash out physically, to run away, or to gaze into the abyss. And the turning on one doesn't necessarily mean like sexy times. It just means. It's... I mean, it can, but. I mean, it can. Uh, it can mean that, and typically, usually does. But it does not have to mean that. No, it's uh, turning someone on is kind of trying to manipulate someone and get them on your side. Ah, I would like to use that on Cassidy when I give that compliment. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll hot for me. How do I do that? It hot, hot, hot. So you're rolling 2d6 and you are adding, uh, adding your hot stat. Is there anything I could like counter roll for that or I've just got to take No, it? it's uh it's a roll uh it's it's a uh, mm. there are no contested rolls in this game. Oh no, I wasn't um, sure if I could like shut down. I got after. an 8. You got an 8, which is a partial success. Okay. So, with a partial success on turning someone on, um, you can either uh, sorry, um, this is for Cassidy. So, an eight oh. is a partial success. So, either um, Does this work? Uh, choose to reaction below. Okay, so either you can give uh, you can give Poppy a string on you. Mm -hmm. You can give yourself over to Poppy, 
Uh, What's that mean? (laughs) It means however you want to interpret it. Um, (laughs) You can promise... One of us, one of us. (laughs) You can promise Poppy something that you think that she would want. Or you can get embarrassed and act awkward. Uh, I'll give you a string. Let's make it an even number. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Poppy gains another string. But she's still slightly like. If if now she knows that it was an actual compliment, she's still a bit like, okay. Did I. Did that happen? (laughs) Uh, For those for those who are watching the stream right now, who maybe aren't as familiar with this system, uh, the strings mechanic in this game is a very cool mechanic, where different characters uh, gain strings, which are an abstract concept to represent people's social influence over each other. Uh, At any point, a player can pull a string on either a PC or an NPC if they have a string on them. Um, And they can use that string to either uh, to either uh, tempt them into doing something that you want, uh, to give them a condition, to add a plus one to a roll against them, or to add a uh, an additional harm if dealing damage to them. Um, everyone starts the game with a number of strings. I tried to find a way to make it display the strings on the stream, but have not worked that out yet. I will see if I can make that work before our uh, next stream, uh, but it's a bit of an awkward one. Um, can so, Cassie deflirt back? Can she turn on back? I mean, yeah. If, but going well, what, full on, not realising that... Don't worry about the move so much. What is Cassidy doing? Cassidy's totally, like after that conference probably gonna be like well from what i heard you're um you get good ideas all the time it's all very intelligent stuff <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me turning on back but the misunderstanding that she wasn't actually flirting but going <laughs> anyway okay totally. go ahead and make a roll with hot for cassidy so that's a plus one just wait till Kitty finds out. Honestly, she'll have your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What? <laughs> I got two nat ones. Two oh, nat ones. Bad. That's I got a oh. three. That so I hate life. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and mark a point of experience on your character. Oh yeah, I can get that at least. Um, you get your point of character experience. Um, Poppy, two you nat ones. You immediately get the sense that you've, like, you've got this uh, string on Cassidy by complimenting her um and she's tried to kind of combat your friendliness by being flirty back with you but it just comes across as being a bit hammed up and awkward that sounds about right Um, (laughs) i'll go with that (laughs) and uh and cassidy as you uh kind of like finish saying that um you uh you look over to scarlet who was watching this in- watching the whole thing because she's right there at the table yeah. um and she's kind of just staring at you but the second you kind of turn towards her she kind of looks down and away um and you get the sense that she wasn't she didn't really like that. I mean, fair. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that because I rolled two nat ones. <laughs> so, <laughs> Cassidy hated herself the minute she did it. Can, so, can I use a string to give Cassidy a condition? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um, so the condition were made. <laughs> the condition from that entire little scene is that Cassie is in with Poppy. Ooh. 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 Okay. Oh, so, that was uh, not how I expected this to happen. <laughs> Cassidy, <laughs> Cassidy, go ahead and write down on your sheet under conditions in with Poppy. Um, 
<laughs> I love that that's just a condition in this population. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but again, another kind of that? mechanic in this game for those who are watching, the conditions can be anything, and it just has to be either a one word or short sentence descriptor, um, and it doesn't have to be true. It just ha it just means now that the rest of the high school believes that Cassidy is in with Poppy. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. He's going to hate me. Anytime no, someone dear. tries to make a roll against Cassidy where that condition can be utilized, they get a plus one on that roll. Oh, bum hole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this has not gone the way I wanted at all. In order to <laughs> remove a condition in this game, yeah, how do I do that? you have to actively work toward... like work towards um removing the condition so yeah. basically in order to remove the condition that you are in with poppy you have to definitively show the school that you are not in with poppy oh fun i love that <laughs> oh yes okay bust up in the quad still kind um, of works then but <laughs> so while this meeting is going on i imagine we're going to start like brainstorming and talking and talking like the nitty-gritty that we don't Lots really of talking need going to... on, yeah. Poppy will like do kind of like the circuit that she's obviously in charge of what's going on in the meeting. Yeah, a hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> and she'll she'll go over behind Scarlet and like look at her notes and just like put a hand on her shoulder to lean forward a little bit more. Um, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything um, important. These are really good notes. You're really good at this. You know, I had a feeling I was going to ask you to do it, but then you did it anyway. That's like really, um, what's the word? Uh, um, Take you the initiative. Thanks. Uh, go, uh, go ahead and make another roll to turn on because you are definitely <laughs> rolling. Uh, you are definitely rolling with hot on that one. Oh, that was a five. That was a five? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and mark a point of XP. Um, well, that's something. <laughs> yeah, that's something. Yeah, whenever you fail a roll in this game, you always mark XP. Uh, and she just kind of goes, um, yeah, no thanks. I, um, you know, um, it's more just so that I can, this is just how I learn stuff, you know? That's, yeah. Um, she kind of just not trying to be rude but at the same time you kind of feel her shoulder move a little bit to try and kind of like move your hand off of her shoulder yeah um i'll take the hint yeah <laughs> just because, um but yeah no i'm gonna uh, i i'm gonna write all this stuff up and then i'll like i'll send like an email blast out or uh, um, i keep no thinking emails. we're in modern days we're not <laughs> well can you make copies and like show i'll them make some copies time. out and then uh tomorrow we'll uh, i'll hand them out to everyone so everyone's got a copy Great. Yeah, it's gonna be a really cool prom. I actually really excited by this idea. Very cool. It so is. Does Cassidy, Cassidy hear this? It. Yeah, I was gonna say. Does yeah, Cassidy this is all at the table, so everyone's present. Yeah. Cassidy's quite angry because she flirted with Scarlet, but she doesn't know why she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm angry, but I don't know why. Type. <laughs> I'm getting my D6 out so I ain't doing roll 20 anymore. Like, yeah. no, <laughs> two that one's my butt. Yeah. Um, the remainder of uh, the meeting goes ahead. Uh, a bunch of ideas are kind of thrown out. Uh, lists are made. And you guys make a good kind of start on making these plans for your prom. Uh, we will cut from here across to... Um, Kitty and Nigel, where are you guys at the moment? Uh, well, Kitty would probably have been at a sports meeting of some kind. Um, obviously, probably not a session as such, like a practice session, maybe just like a right here's what we're gonna do for the next one up, meeting. you know, we've got big games, yeah, that type of thing. Um, maybe done like laps or something like that. Um, so she's probably just hanging about waiting for Cassidy because she is not going anywhere near that prom committee. <laughs> so she'll just be like, she probably went, I'll just meet you out the front when you're done. Um, and she's just chilling out the front of the school. 
Nice. So you uh, you kind of finish off your uh, your sports uh, event for the day, head out to the front of the school and just start uh, hanging out. Probably doing homework, but like trying to be like sneaky about it so nobody knows she's actually. She's actually working. Yep. Uh, what is Nigel doing after school? Um. <laughs> I suspect that I can easily imagine he'd have had to have some sort of short pastoral care meeting with some member of the staff just to check how his first day had gone. Um, and I'm sure he'd happily relay that, uh, you know, he'd, he'd made some friends with this girl called Poppy. Um, I don't you know if that would have had this with Mr. Lillard as he's your homeroom uh, okay, no, yeah. uh, advisor. So he's a cool. Yeah, that's really great. So, yeah, Poppy's a great student. She's uh, She's like really in the no round here so that's that's really good man yes yes the, the day went well for, I look forward to coming back tomorrow great glad to hear it all right um well as long as you're feeling good i'm feeling good you need anything at all you let me know you know who the faculty here the staff we're all here to help you kids learn so uh, and get by and feel good about being here so anything i can do to help out with that you just have to say all right um okay thank you yeah after that uh you're free to go enjoy the rest of your day thank you sir uh you head out of the building and on the front steps of the school uh you see kitty uh sat down she's the only person around uh with her with one of her books out on the steps uh writing something in a notebook. I think that Nigel would just have to be polite and say hello, um, <laughs> even as much as he'd be a bit in, sort of you know all new people intimidated. I think his his polite British politeness he'd he'd about. Oh, h- hello. Oh, hi, uh, Nigel. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Kitty, is it? Yes. How are you? Oh, not too bad. A good first day, I think. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Did you have a meeting with Mr... You know. Oh. She knows his name, but she's just like, you know, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. They, I just ha- ha- had to do it. Yeah, he's a cool teacher. He just needs to stop trying so hard. It's a bit <laughs> cringy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yes. So what are you up to? Um, I, I don't know. I thought I might uh, go and wander through town. Uh, why are you still sat here? Oh, from committee. I'm just waiting for Cassidy. Ah, right. Yes, I, I, I don't think I really understand all of that. But um... <laughs> yeah, prom's not really my thing either, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Oh, good, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, if you're wondering about town later, I think a group of us might be hanging out if you want to join. Oh, that that would be lovely. I, I was going uh, to try and uh, check out the, uh, the 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 milkshake bar. Yes, that's recently come up in town. Um, I have heard good things about it. I was actually going to suggest to Cassidy to go because I don't know if she's a fan of milkshakes, but I love them. So, oh, well, it seems very American. So I thought I'd uh, go and partake. That's a good idea. You should join us. We'll probably be around in maybe... Uh, actually, I have no idea how long we're going to be in here. If we say about an hour. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe see you there then. Yeah, um, hold on. And what she'll do is she'll like, rip a piece of paper out of her notebook and she'll like write her page number on it. <laughs> she'll be like, page me um, in like an hour and I'll let you know whether we're leaving or not. Um, and then you can meet us there, just so you're not wasting time oh, standing uh, about. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And then she'll like give you like this big, really cheesy grin, and then she'll like start kind of going back to her notes, like. <laughs> and, and yeah, Nigel will take the hint at that point and, and, and walk <laughs> off. Uh, Nigel kind of walks off down uh, down the steps, um, and as he uh, crosses over the. Uh, the path to uh, the road to get to the other side of the street. Um, Kitty, your mum's car pulls up and 
for a split second, you swear it looked like she was going to hit Nigel with the car. Um, but Nigel didn't seem to, like, flinch from it and didn't seem to react to the car passing very close to him, what it looked like from your perspective. Um, so you're not sure if it's just like a trick of the light or something like that, but uh, you kind of sit back and you see your mum uh, pull up outside um, and she gets out and rushes up to the steps and goes, Hey, sweetie, um, sorry I was running a bit late. Work got a bit crazy. Uh, are you and Cassie ready to go? I don't know. She's decided to join the prom committee, so... That's nice. Yeah, well, um, Good yeah, I suppose she could use getting out in the big wide world. Um, oh, you know, know. If, if prom committee's cloak finished, yeah, Casty from... will be running out. Grab kids like go 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 <laughs> go 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 quickly quickly. I need to tell you. I need to talk to you. I need to go. Talk, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, she, <laughs> she quickly ru- sees you kind of both running towards the car and quickly she heads back and gets back in and drives off. She goes. So you know, Cassie, how was your first day? At, uh, first day at the school. Oh, I messed up. 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 Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. <laughs> Kitty, so Kitty, Kitty's Kitty. like all the gossip. What has happened? Kissy, I messed up. What did you do? Oh my god! Well, Poppy was like being like slightly like play, and I tried to match the energy, just to be like, oh my god, yeah, I'm like fine, and I fucking failed. <laughs> and everyone thinks everyone thinks I actually like her, and I was trying to be like, I, oh, I just didn't go well. That all went wrong. I tried. I was trying to be like, I was like, look, she she acts so like like powerful and like in charge she's like i'm not in charge you are fucking in charge but she did she did she just she just ugh. all right cassie you need to calm down okay and like poppy is you know poppy's a confident girl i think she gets it from her dad he's a big successful guy it's well, uh... she's got your mum too kitty she's got your mum too yeah what? i know she's got, it's she fine doesn't have... What are you on about? No, okay, I work. <laughs> it's fine. The whole town worships her. It's, I work it's for fine. Her I'm fighting all those in battle. I, I work for her dad. I see him all the time. You know, it's just a, you get people who have those strong personalities. That's all. I'm it's sure she's she lovely. She can just talk to me, and my everything just goes, <laughs> stops, freaking not right and it's rude i and, think so. and it was in front of scarlet and it's oh it's all terrible can we can we do something i need to distract myself i need to do something i'm getting annoyed milkshake milkshake i like that i like milkshake let's let's go milkshake <laughs> cassidy's like trying to calm herself down she's very <laughs> stressed <laughs> this is when kitty will kind of go mum can you just drop us off somewhere we'll i'll take Cassidy for a bit of a run walk thing we'll get this all sorted we'll go for milkshake and then we'll come home for dinner you know of course uh, absolutely I can drop you outside the milk outside of the shake that's not a problem no I think I think Cassidy needs to get some energy out of her system you know like he's like looking at the door thinking about do I jump out (laughs) (laughs) I need to get out Kitty will be like do you remember what I was like last year you know when the just right. all that energy and you just got to get it out so it's fine i'll take her uh, for a yeah. run or we'll do a bit of boxing well, or something why don't i take you guys down to uh down to the gym and then either you can just work it out there or you can uh run up the main street to uh to the shake and blow off some energy there yeah that sounds good great okay uh she takes off on the car uh, drives you up the road towards the gym. Um, we will cut across to uh, Poppy post prom committee meeting. Um, pretty much everyone has dispersed except for Felicity, who is uh, with you. Mm-hmm. Um, what is Poppy doing uh, now that school is finished for the day? She would probably... I mean, where... Is, this, is the shack where everyone goes and hangs out in the evenings? 
Um, there I is, uh, the there's the bunker, which is a popular hangout spot. The shake is a new place that's been set up. Um, okay. so there are a few students that are kind of like starting to gravitate over towards it just because it's the new place. Mm -hmm. um, She'd probably start at the bunker, and then if that's a bust, she'll get out of the shack. Gotcha. Please. Yeah. Uh, you head over to the bunker, um, which is where, uh, Flora and Benji are. Yeah. Um, there are a few different students from your class there. Um, you, uh, you see it from the class, um, uh, Zeke is down there, mm -hmm. um, and Uh, Nathan is also down there along with uh, Benji and Flora. Um, Benji and Zeke have been uh, kind of like sat flanking Nathan when you arrive. Um, Nathan has been kind of just sat there uh, quietly uh, with one of his school books out and has these two big jocks next to him who, as he's kind of like trying to read and do his homework, have been bumping him and nudging him uh, back and forth, trying to throw him off his study. Um, and he's just been doing his best to ignore them as you do that. You show up. Mm -hmm. um, you show up immediately. Benji jumps up and uh, walks over to you. It's just like, yo, Poppy, what's up? Hi, Benji. How was Not your much. whole thing? Oh, it was good. Cool. Met, you know, had some nice moments with a few of the students. What are you doing with um, Nathan there? Is he helping with your homework again? Yeah, Nate, you know, Nate, he's like the smart kid, right? So, yeah, yeah no, he's totally just, uh, he just kind of like looks over at uh, Nathan as he goes, totally been just like asking him all these questions about the mm -hmm. schoolwork that you know the stuff i didn't get which is all of it so yeah <laughs> nice great. nathan that's really nice of you i uh, just kind of looks so he goes yes i don't uh i don't feel like i had much of a choice in the matter but uh you know happy to help maybe you can help me with my homework yeah, sure. Uh, what what do you what do you need help with? You know, I really struggle with math. Yeah, can totally help with the math. That's uh, you know, great. Good at the math. You free tonight? Yeah, sure. Uh, where, when, when do you want to meet? You can just stop by my house. That's fine. Great. Yeah, sounds good. I'll do that. And then she'll go over to where Flora is. Um, Flora's, uh, she's been, F Flora has been kind of sat at the side, um, watching this whole display of these two, uh, these two jocks just aggravating the, mm -hmm. the brainy kid in class and here the brainy kid just taking it in stride and, like not getting, not letting them get a rise out of him. Um, and she's got like her field hockey stick out and it's just kind of like hopped a few stones in behind the tree line. Uh, she looks over and goes, Hey puppy. Yay. What's, uh, so what's going on? Any goss from prom? Not too much to, uh, to report, um, is there anyone that you are interested in right now? Well, um, well, uh, we should make sure that they're at the party. No, you, you know me, I, I'm pretty good. Um, Everyone's everyone's invited, right? So you know who's not going to show up. Um, Flora, is there cool. something you're not telling me? 
No, no, he's not telling me. Like, I really like for the girls from the team to be there. Yeah. You know, um, we'll get. I, I would say, um, go go ahead and make a roll for me on this one. This is going to be cold, as I think I feel like you're trying to shut down her attempts to not talk about this. Okay. Oh man, that's not good either. <laughs> cold. Uh, four. Yeah. Four. She goes. Yeah, no, it's. Like, it's not anyone specific. I didn't just, you know, I had to make sure the team goes because, you know, I got to have my girls there. Uh, you know, obviously you guys are my girls, but at the same time, I've got my team. So I'm going to make sure they're there as well. Um, you know, that's, that's all. What do you think about that new girl, Cassidy? I mean, she seemed like pretty... Well, she seemed pretty cool, right? She is a bit like a... We're kind of like aloof in a weird way, but I don't know. Could be interesting. Yeah. She's Kitty's cousin, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. So she mm. apparently like there was this whole thing that happened with her like back where she was, and then her parents decided it would be best for her to move over here with uh, with her cousin. So <gasps> something exciting. I, I don't really any, any details or anything. I guess uh, oh. I just heard there was like a whole thing that happened. She got moved. Now she's living with Kitty. Oh. Maybe you could try to talk to her. She seems she seems a bit more. Um, I'm not, is she sportsy? I don't know she kind of seems it. Right, she gives that vibe. So maybe um, you might have a easier time talking to her. Maybe. Yeah, I'll I'll, talk, I'll chat with her. Um, I'll see if I can talk to her during the week. If not, I'll catch her at the party. Cool. Sure, sounds good. You're the best. You know it. <laughs> um, maybe we should go over to the shack. Uh, to the shake? Yeah, we can go. Uh, the shake. Yeah, I mean, this place is pretty much, you know, the dud. They're the only ones who showed up, so. Yeah. I think, uh, I think most people are probably down there. All right, let's yeah. go. New place. New hot place in town. Um, you guys get uh, you guys get into your car uh, and head on up the main street towards the shake uh, where we pretty much have the whole uh, the whole crew here along with most of the classmates as well um, so as you guys kind of walk in the shake is made up in a way that it makes it look like an old school um, an old school 50s diner um and there are a number of uh like ice cream machines set up behind the um uh, behind the counter uh the guy who is owning this uh place he really just made an effort to give it that old school feel mm -hmm. drinks are served milkshakes are served ice creams are served um and people are sat in different booths and at tables uh, enjoying some after school sugar highs. <laughs> um, yeah, so everyone is pretty much there. Tell me what everyone is doing. Uh, Nigel, you got invited along by. Uh, Kitty and Cassidy to come join them, so I imagine you're sat with them. Yep. So. Cassidy's just drinking two milkshakes at once, <laughs> looking <laughs> extremely double, stressed out. Double fisting milkshakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like it's like Kitty, Kitty, help, Kitty, 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 <laughs> help. Kitty. Nigel would lean in to go. Is, is she okay? <laughs> no, she had a mental brain thing. Oh no, she so, just. Oh. Something's not right with that puppy. Something's not right. <laughs> but I was like, oh, you know she... how I told you, all spring breaks, nothing, you know. I was right. I just just, just like... drink your milkshake. <laughs> She'll like slowly push another one towards her. She, she does seem very intense. What, what, what happened? Yeah, she just had a moment with Poppy. You should know about that. I saw how she complimented your tie, which was a bit strange. Oh yes, oh, I, I quite liked it. It's a cool tie. <laughs> I mean, Thank I, you. yeah, but it's not just there's a tie. 
there's a time and a place for a tie, and it's kind of not in high school. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'm sure that's prom attire normally. The tie. Yeah, you're from you're from Britain, right? It never hurts to be smart. I mean, you have uniforms and shit. We don't really have have that. You can just wear what you would wear on a weekend. Oh, okay. I shall bear that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> But all the milkshakes that have been given to Cassidy is finished. <laughs> and it's just like... Cassidy pity. just sat in the bench, just holding her head partially from embarrassment, partially from a really bad brain freeze. Um, oh, do I fix this? <laughs> um, what do I do? Like, and now difficulty. Everyone, think, well, everyone thinks I'm like friends with her now. Well, that's that your plan. fault. I know! Doesn't mean it was the plan. I was just trying to match her energy. She gives so much energy out and no one seems to try and like match it or like better it. And I wanted to try. Hey, and, like, hey, flunked. there is, there is one person and she'll just point yeah, over to but... Sam. <laughs> yeah. who's like in the corner of the room, like surrounded by yeah, people. But just... Sam, Sam, Sam is Sam. Mm-hmm. Sam's got a different energy. Sam's got a better energy. Probably yeah. has like a, oh, I don't know what it is. It's just, it just took over. I need to fix this. I need to, I need to do something. Do you do? might have to slap her. <laughs> but then I still don't really want to. What? Well like, then! <laughs> she annoys me so much, but I don't want to hit her still. Well, pour a milkshake over her. I'll get you another one. <laughs> Maybe, like, look, I want to do something that's gonna just, I just, something. What's your plan? Kitty, give me a plan. I need to do something. Well, I don't know. I mean, Poppy have... Oh, oh dear. I'm taking over that pom prom me. I'm taking that shit over. Um, you know what? You join me. I know you don't like it. Just join me. Get Sam. We're taking that shit over. She's like, oh, I've, I've, I've been here like so many times. No, no. We need a new face. We're taking it over and it will make me feel better and you want to make your cousin feel better don't you because she's traumatized <laughs> because she was stupid i ignore that point <laughs> please concentrate you get to get back at her you get to make yourself feel good you've be- beaten her up in one because i know you have still thing like come on Oh, but that sounds like the worst idea ever. Take over the prom committee. I've already look. They already chose my theme. Look, if we shut her down. Keep shutting her down. We take over the prom committee. Even we can start with her little little freaking third arms and keep following her around everywhere. <laughs> like Cassidy is crazed. Her hair is bigger than it's ever been. <laughs> she's like, look. She's she just made like, me okay, look okay. Dumb. So Cam. dumb in front of others. I can't. Cam, Cam. <laughs> Kitty is like patting you on the shoulder, like, breathe, breathe. <sighs> Just. I, I want that prompt me. Okay, I will help you, but not be on the committee. Deal, I guess. <sighs> now, didn't you say something about Scarlet? You guys look outside the window. <laughs> Uh, and three fire engines go flying past uh, on the road outside, blaring their sirens. What the fuck? Oh gosh. Um, definitely Wait. going to have a look at that. It's yeah, not very I mean, often that happens. Yeah, let's not you... concentrate on anything I just said. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cassidy's so happy that Scarlet question got ignored because of the fire engines. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, you guys head outside, um, look out at the, um, uh, yeah, you, you guys head outside, look out and see, uh, these three fire engines, uh, head, uh, out of the... Uh, out out of the main town and due to the kind of like the way the town is built you can kind of see for quite a bit uh outside of the town uh you see them head out of the main town and turn up the road towards the tennis and lumber mill uh which is the lumber mill owned by poppy's father 
Oh, that's not good. Can we then, see like, fire at all, or you can see is it smoke? smoke and, yeah, 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 you can see smoke coming from the lumber mill. Oh crap! Which is also have the I lumber mill where the... Kitty's mum works. Have I? Um... Yeah. Yes, Poppy has arrived at the sh uh, at the shake by this point. I don't know if it's before the sirens went past, or uh, you'd you'd arrive before the sirens went past. Yeah. Okay. I feel um, like, does Kitty know that her mum's done for the day, or did her mum, like, pick it up, drop it off, and then go back to work? Um, your mum, um, she, because of her position at the company, uh, she works quite long hours, and she's been afforded time to go and pick you up from school up, uh, and take you wherever you need to go, but after that she does head straight back to the office. Yeah, at this point, I'm like, shit, just like take off. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the Casty's following. I assume like Benji gives me a ride, or Felicity, like so someone drives. <laughs> I imagine Benji, yeah, Benji's or Felicity are driving the. Yeah. You're going to have like the convertible uh, four seater that, uh, that you all share. Yeah, come on, guys, let's really want to go. That's not good. <laughs> no. Right? So we need to go. Yeah, right, let's do this. Um, uh, Benji goes, runs, gra jumps into the driver's seat of the car, pulls it around the uh, pulls it around the front so the rest of you guys can jump in. I take my milkshake with me. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, <laughs> love it. <laughs> the, uh, I'm back with my milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> the guy behind the counter just looks like, he's like, you're not supposed to take the... Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you go. You jump into the thing as well, um, Nigel. The two, the uh, the two girls who you were hanging out with have had gone out to see what was going on with the fire engines, and then just kind of bolted up the street towards the location. Yeah, I, I think he'd just be standing there, sort of drinking his milkshake, not really aware of the kind of the importance or the impact. Um, I think unless he was ushered along with anybody, he'd probably just go back inside and finish his uh, his drink. You uh, you go back inside and sit down. Um, Sam walks over to you uh, and she goes, "Hey, look, just wanted to check in, see how you were getting on, all that stuff. Uh, I know it's like first day, kind of intense, right? And you know, Poppy hanging on your arm the whole time's got to be a bit of a uh, a bit of a thing. So, uh, yeah, well, that, that's that's most kind of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's um, she she's very unusual." That's a word for it. Like she's cool. She's she's cool for the most part. I mean, she is cool in the traditional sense, I guess. It's uh, you know, it's a whole thing with her, and you know, for me, I just find if I match her energy, then you know, but that's not for everyone. I get that. Yes, I I, I, I don't think I could match her energy. No. <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm gifted or whatever, but. It is, uh, you know, it's a whole thing. Um, you know, the whole reason I kind of stepped in there was just to make sure that you weren't getting light. She wasn't doing anything funny business. Like, I don't expect her to. It's just, you know, first day at school, it's a lot. Well, that's, that's very kind. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And, you know, offer still stands. You hit me up anytime you want to hang out or do anything. You know, I'm your person. Uh, I think Nigel sort of genuine sincerity goes, I, I, I will do that. Thank you. All right. Catch you later. Um, they wander back off to uh, the crowd of people that uh, <laughs> that they had been socializing with. Um, we cut across to the tennis and lumber mill. Uh, so Kitty and Cassidy, you guys are going on foot, basically, to this We're place. Running. You're running. Yeah. So, uh, Poppy, you and your crew arrive way earlier than they do. Um, and you walk through um, and see that one of uh, the smoke seems to be isolated to one of the warehouses and you know this warehouse and you know this warehouse holds some particular uh, ma machinery mm -hmm. that um, if it is smoking is not a good sign Okay. Um, 
I mean, the the fire engines are there. Are they putting out? Uh, yeah, they've gone. They've um, uh, the fire engines are there. They have like created a barrier so that people can't get too close and have started uh, attacking the fire with the fire hoses. Yeah. Um, your father is stood outside with uh, his staff, looking at the warehouse. Um, and I will run up and give him a big hug. Say, Daddy! He goes, hey, baby girl, it's so good. Uh, what, what are you doing here? I saw the smoke and I got really scared. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It was, you know, I think there might have been just like a little short and something that caught a light. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's all good. You know, I made sure to put out the, uh, I, I made sure to clear out the, uh, the flames in the basement. So, and cover that back up. So they're just dealing with the rest of it now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're all good. good. It's fine. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Great. So, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> good. Okay, sweetie. No, no one is down there, right? No, no, no one, no one's allowed. That warehouse, you know, you know that no one's allowed in the warehouse. It's off limits. Okay. It's all, it's all good. Everything's safe. Everything's fine. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. All right. Bye, baby girl. Love you. Love you. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go on home. This is. This has been a lot. No, it's okay. You go home. You rest. Um, you know, mom will sort you and your, uh, you and your friends out something to eat and drink and yeah. um uh, and you can start making plans for your party yeah great all right um see you at home see you Michelle. later uh back to her friends yeah he, he uh he kind of goes back to just like watching the firemen and yeah. watching what they're doing um you return to your crew um felicity just kind of looks at you guys Oh my god, is everything okay? Everything's fine, just something caught, like some machine or something. You know. It's, it's, oh god, that's... You know, that's they need to be more careful when, like, you know, it's a bunch of wood in there. And wood's, like, you know, flammable. Yeah, like, this really... <laughs> I guess, like, a lumber mill is, like, a really bad place to have a fire. Right? Yeah, like, <laughs> you gotta be really careful with that stuff around here. I hope that whatever but, it is doesn't happen again. Yeah. But we can go back to my house and, like, hang out or something. Um, awesome. It's also starting to get kind of late, but... Yeah. No, we'll, we'll head back to your house. We'll hang out. We'll... Uh, and then, you know, do whatever yeah. we need to do. Yeah. All right. Benji, I'm driving this time because you're insane. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> You guys all load back into the car and drive off. And as you're driving off, uh, Kitty and Casty, you come running up the road and just see Poppy and her crew like drive away from. Uh... Poppy finishes her milkshake and just tosses the glass out the window. <laughs> <laughs> tosses the glass out the window. The glass kind of um, shatters on the ground in front of Kitty as you're running up. Luckily, <laughs> Kitty has pretty good reflexes and she probably jumped over it. <laughs> yeah. God, but she's just she, like she litters. <laughs> this is when, like running up towards the thing, and I'm like, I told you so, right, Poppy? <laughs> just as she's running up. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, uh, Kitty and Cassie, you eventually make it to uh, the uh, to the lumber mill, and you see that the smoke is coming from one of the warehouses um, towards the back of the lumber mill. Um, your uh, your mother doesn't seem to be around near where the where the fire is, um, and you guess that she's probably in her office, which is actually closer to the other side of the mill, because it's a big complex. Yeah. yeah, what she'd probably do then is I feel like she would probably not know no Poppy's dad, but I feel like they'd sort of like recognize each other. Um, because she'd probably like have visited her mum and stuff and then we'd picked up and dropped off and things. So she'd probably just do like a whole I'm gonna go didn't like point towards like mum's office. Oh uh, yeah, like, yeah. I'll just I'll just I'll just <laughs> stay stay I'll look around, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, um 
Yeah. <laughs> Kitty, you go and uh, head over to the office where your mum is. Um, she kind of looks up as you walk in and she goes, Kitty, what, what, what's going on? What are you doing here? Did you not hear the freaking sirens? <laughs> well, yeah, there was a fire in the, uh, the, at the other end of the... Uh, well, I didn't know that. Place. Well, no, it's fine. Like, I get... It's okay. You could, you don't have to yell. All right, everything's fine. I'm okay. I I work on this side. I'm away from where any of the machinery in that is. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll right. see you at dinner. I appreciate that you were worried, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I promise. She's like that. Yeah. She's like walking out the door. She's, uh, you kind of walk out the door. Uh, Cassidy, uh, you say you're looking around. Uh, you know what, Casti? Casti is gonna do some investigating. Um, cool. She's like, will... she's just nosy. <laughs> no, that's cool. So, um, what I'm gonna say for this then, because you are, I've got heightened senses, you but do... I don't really know how I could ask a question to a fire. No, but the thing that you could potentially do as well mm -hmm. is to gaze into the abyss. Oh, that'd be fun. Let's um, do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, if you wish to gaze into the abyss, you're going to make a roll with dark. Oh, my dark's a minus one. Oh, yes. excellent. I'm more volatile than dark. Yes. I think I've got the same stats as you, actually. I think you chose the same ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go manual dice. <laughs> Four. Four. So I, I rolled 11 early when I was just playing with it. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit normal. That's about, that's about right. Um, go ahead and mark another point of experience. I mean, at least, I mean, yeah. Thanks. Um, <laughs> you, you kind of like wander around the crowd a bit, kind of keeping your head down and just start breathing deeply and sniffing the air. Mm -hmm. And you get flooded with a bunch of strange smells um the smoke is very overpowering but there is stuff within the smoke that is like nothing you've ever smelled before you have no idea what it is you have no idea where this idea is coming from um but you just get this sense, like this tiny little hint that the smoke uh, hint before the smoke just completely takes over that maybe there was something in there in the warehouse that shouldn't have been there which has caused the fire okay. um but you've got no context as to what that might be um or uh, and you can't really create a clear picture in your head um it's a big warehouse so if you uh, like if anyone was to try and search it it would take a very long time did it smell like was there like a wood in the smell or was it just this weird over i mean there's the wood in the sm there's a wood in the smell just from the fact that it's a lumber mill and it's a warehouse and it's uh and it's smoke uh which okay. i would say is burning wood uh smell um there is just like a trace of something that's just not registering for you um okay yeah um I will throw, uh, Nigel, is there anything else that you want to do on this day? Um, I, I can't imagine so. I think for him, that's probably been a fairly successful day. Um, he, he's probably just going to head home at that point, I would imagine. Yeah, you, uh, you head home. Um, your parents are both sat at the dining room table when you get in with uh, books and pages out. Um, just uh, reading and researching and looking things up. Uh, your two lawyer parents who don't even register that you've walked in the front door as you arrive home. Yeah. Um, and then, like, you kind of walk through and into the dining room and see them. And uh, your mum looks up and goes, 
Hey, sweetie, how was school? It was good, thank you. Great. So, uh, dinner's been ordered, and we'll call you down when it's ready. Uh, and she just goes back to looking at her book. and Yeah, he doesn't even reply. <laughs> yeah. You, um, like, just feeling very invisible from your parents all the time. Um, you turn around, um, and instead of walking through the door, you just walk straight through the wall. Um, and then recomporialize uh, uh, re yourself uh, <laughs> to walk up the stairs to your room, um, just completely ignoring any walls or boundaries on your way there. Cool. Um, lastly, to finish off our session, we cut over to the Tennyson household, a much nicer house up in the hills. Um, where Poppy and her crew arrive. Um, you guys uh, head into the house. Uh, your mum is there with her just usual smile and uh, happy demeanour. She just kind of looks at you and goes, Poppy, sweetie, how was school? That was great, Mum. Great. Do you guys hungry? Do you want anything to drink? I've got some stuff going. I'm okay. You can give them whatever they want. Okay, sweetie, anything you guys want. And she uh, walks off. Uh, you guys kind of sit down and decompress from the day uh, and the whole incident up at the lumber mill. Um, and about an hour later, the doorbell rings. Um, I'll go answer it. You go and answer the door, and Nathan is stood there. Uh, Hello, Nathan. Looking. Hey, Poppy. Um, so, the math. Uh, yeah. Gonna help you out with that. Uh, he kind of walks in with uh, some school books. She goes, uh, we got a place so we can set up and work. Yeah, come um, on over this way. And she'll lead him to her room. Very cool. Um, <laughs> you lead him uh, up to your room. Um, he kind of walks in and just is a bit taken aback from the fact that you've led him to your to your bedroom, <laughs> and just goes, "Um, cool, we're all right to be in here. Your parents won't." Oh no, they're super cool. Cool. Um, well, uh, he kind of goes over to like where your uh. Uh, where you like you've got like a table set up for yeah. your stuff and kind of pops the books down. It's like, um, so what? Uh, how do you want to get started? Or yeah, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm feeling like doing math right now. Oh, okay. Um, I I, I can help. And with... she'll come over and like put her hand on his hand and just go like, ahead and roll. Arm. Go ahead and roll hot to try and turn him on. Um. Alright, that's eight. Eight. That is a partial success. Um, and I think under the circumstances, the reaction that he is going to choose is that he is going to give himself over to you. Cool. Um, Bravo. You kind of place your arm on his ha uh, your hand on his arm. Um kind of pull yourself in close to him mm -hmm. um he is a bit hesitant at first but eventually uh, but eventually kind of like looking at you and kind of says oh this is this is happening um gives in fully uh, as you start kissing him um and leading him towards your bed, at which point we fade to black. Um, and with that, uh, he, he activates Poppy's sex move. Ooh. Uh, which is, when you have sex with someone, they gain the condition, one of them... And whilst the condition remains, 
they count as a part of Poppy's gang. One of us. One of us. <laughs> and as Nathan is converted over to part of Poppy's gang, we will end our first session. Hey. Hey. Oh. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Does that mean you had sex with all your minions? <laughs> well, like, no. I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> so that's like a hot. Love that. Oh my hey, God. just wait. You're well on your way to becoming a minion. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, that is. That, that, Poppy that's is not... already starting to spread her. Her yeah. conquering plague over this. <laughs> how how did Kissy thing. avoid it for so long? I, I was a, like I was there. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, was a, that was a whole other thing. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. It's well, impressive. For those who are watching, thank you for joining us uh, and staying with us through this whole of this first episode. We will be back in two weeks' time. Uh, okay. In the meantime, you can come back and join us again on uh, Friday for our Ever Chosen campaign. You can join us again on Sunday for our GM's chat. And you can join us next Tuesday for Homebrew Labs, the start of a new season, uh, where we will have special guests joining us from the Fumble Folk. Um, so really Ooh. excited to have that. Um, but we will be back with this story in two weeks' time, where... We will be at session two, I think, the party. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. I'm going to dress up. I'm going to dress up like Cassidy. Party, party clothes next week, that's yeah, it. Yeah, the party clothes. I already know what I'm wearing. <laughs> so do I. So, <laughs> if, you are, uh, if you are new, we are Wayfarers League. We are an online community for tabletop role players. You can find us at wayfarersleague.com. Links to our Discord, our Twitch, and our YouTube, and our merch store are all there. So uh, make sure to come check us out. If you are watching on Twitch, please make sure to follow uh, to get regular updates of whenever our streams are coming on. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe and show your support for us that way. Uh, you can subscribe for free using your Amazon Prime account as well, so it doesn't even cost you anything. Uh, and if you're watching this later on on YouTube, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, as all of those things help to support the channel uh, and make sure when you uh, uh, when if you do watch this on youtube and you watch it all the way to the end um leave a note in the comments i want to see who can predict what might be going on right now um based <laughs> that would on be interesting happened. so yeah. i would i'd be interested to hear what people's theories are because it's kind of interesting um but thank you all for watching guys Thanks for joining me for our first session of this campaign. Pleasure. And uh, thank you. We will catch you all next time. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.